So yeah, crash bang boom, welcome to the stream. Let's... Let's get this all... Kerjiggered, and here we go! Uh, so for people who have not played this game, yeah, it's a, the, like a top-down, I guess isometric-ish? I mean, maybe, maybe I should just shut up and play the game. Do I still have a save game here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I delete these? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So, okay, I was going to tell a funny story about this game. Um, when I first started, I made characters and played through the first city. Did all that, and then when I reached the boss, I was like, oh man, I'm having a lot of trouble with this. I don't think I built my characters properly. So I went back and I remade my characters and restarted the game. I went through it again. I actually had a harder time with it the second time through even though I knew what I was doing at that point. Oh jeez, now everything's messy. Brush off my mouse pad. So yeah, I ended up going through the same the Starter City twice, and then when I finally beat it again I was like, well now I've burnt myself out on this game and I don't even feel like continuing. Especially not with these characters that I don't really like more than my first ones, despite them being you know, technically built better to handle the game. Yes, these are my save game names. Oh well, for real now, and finally. Uh, yeah, so at that point I was like, well I know I love this game and I want to give it... I want to give it, like, the love it deserves, so... I uninstalled it, did other things, and now I feel I'm ready to come back at it fresh, uh, and still with a bit of knowledge that that I learned my first two uh, tutorial completions, I guess. No, it's not even a tutorial, but yeah. So, I mean, hopefully I don't screw this up and do really stupid things, but also that would be entertaining, so let's just get started with single player. This game has multiplayer, by the way, and it's got a really cool system where uh, your two main characters can have, can make independent choices on uh, dialogue trees and how you react to situations. So you can actually have like multiple players. I think it's only two. Maybe they updated it for four. I know there was a mod that did that and there was talk of maybe the developers taking that on board. But I don't know if it ever happened. But anyway, you can have at least two characters who are player characters and you can make choices for and stuff and stuff. Can I randomize names? Oh, that's bad. If I can't randomize names, we're gonna end up with something really stupid like Goofball and Dingy. Goofball and Dingy! Okay, fine. You know what? Those are our names, and now I need to figure out characters. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, that's one of the early, early choices you can make. Yeah, it's... Oh, sir, you're right. Sir Goofball. And Lady Dingy. Uh, so, I'm actually gonna try and, like, recreate the characters that I made originally, because that worked really well. And I really liked having, uh, a witch on my team. And, I don't know about, I don't know about Lady Dingy. I don't know what class she should be. Maybe one that actually, like, covers up, but I don't know if that's even. Though, to be fair, they did, um, I believe they, they, them, they, them... The mysterious force behind whatever creates video games. They actually updated the art to be a little less revealing for female characters. Uh, you know, I might just go with Fighter. 
it's good to have that sword and board character who can kind of get up in the front lines and take hits. No, sorry, John John Jacob and Jesus Christ are only for those really old DOS games. Though this is kind of, in a sense, this is a DOS game because the uh, acronym is DOS. All right, and here we go. We can just customize everything as much as we like. Uh, I know there's one of these skills is kind of useless. I think it's bloodletting. You can like customize absolutely everything about your characters, by the way. To the point where it's like, Jesus, I don't even know what I'm doing here. <clears throat> okay, so we are definitely keeping Pet Pal, because it enables us to talk to animals, and that opens up a lot of really interesting things in the game. And basically, if you, if you don't do that, you're kind of missing out. If you don't have a character who has Pet Pal, you're just... There's so much dialogue that you're going to miss. I have not played it since the big update. Um, I believe that actually happened after I kind of put the game down for a while. No, that's true, Shima. Not knowing what you're doing is an important part of computer RPGs. So, what I didn't know is that you can actually customize your starting skills, like... Let's see, Enfeebling Touch. Uh, it's 3 meter range. I don't think my Witch is going to be in melee range that much. I mean, not if I'm doing things right. But let's be fair, when do I ever do things right? Speed is good, perception is good. Um, I might just leave his stats like that. Uh, yes, Miss Mori, of course. Hey, Dragon Man! So I'm gonna be in, like, this character creation for the next 22 years. I uh, hope you all brought snacks. And when standing on the surface of the same element, I don't think that's going to be... Far Out Man is really nice. I might actually trade, uh... Yeah, I think I'll trade whatever that was. Walk it off for Far Out Man. That basically just gives me two meters of extra range to, uh... Do my magics. And these are things I can't get yet. They require me to be levels. Uh, Stench? Uh, oh, that's another good one. It makes people dislike you, but uh, melee opponents will kind of not... They'll not go after you first, I guess. I don't know exactly how that works. There's so much so much depth to this game. It's crazy. Bonkers. Okay. Uh, Know-it-all. No, I kind of like Pet Pal and Far Out, man. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. I thought points might be transferable between attributes and talents, but they are not. So, Oath of Desecration. Yeah, that's good. Summon Spider, that's pretty good. Bloodletting. I want to trade out Bloodletting for something, but... <clears throat> I don't think Enfeebling Touch is going to do us much good. Oh, here we go. Create an Oil Surface. That's nice. Oh, I need more Pyrokinetic. I think that's in Abilities. I'm going to have to switch this up a little bit. What does Willpower do? Effect saving throws against mental and magic. I want to keep that. Skills. Geomancer gives me Summon Spider. Witchcraft gives me Oath of Desecration. Uh, I really want to put one in Pyrokinetic. You know what? I don't need Charisma. I need Pyrokinetic. Um, 17 meters range, yeah. Yeah, we're going with that. And I can get Midnight Oil, I think, pretty easily. Especially since I already have Geomancer. I'll just, as soon as I find a vendor with it, I'll be able to pick that up. Hello, Nagai, am I? Okay, what else am I doing here? Craftsmanship. Lawmaster. Allows you ident to identify items. Um, okay, I'll, I'll hold on to that. So, I think Sir Goofball is about as good as we're going to get him. You can spin around. 
Um, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go, here we go. Uh, so, wait, what's this? Oh, I can make him naked. Sir Goofball in his tidy whities Only they're blue and gold. Number 13. I, I think this... These underpants are a reference to something, but I don't really know. Let's see, we can choose voices. Hold. A whetstone wheel. Oh, now, what do I have that needs sharpening? <laughs> the voices are so ridiculous. Uh, let's see. I want to give him. <laughs> Should I give him the freaking crazy mustache? Oh no, here we go. Eyeshadow. Look at all this. All these hairs. I think I saw the one I wanted. Yeah. Messy, long, red hair. How red can we get? We can get pretty red. I'm gonna go with the mid-red. Oh, we can even change his underwear. That's great. I'm gonna go with underwear one. Oh, it's a reference to Fallout 1? Nice! Oh, that's true. We have a Mario mustache. Oh, no, that was it. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty great, but... I think, uh... Yeah, this is, this is what Sir Goofball looked like in a previous life. P.O.E. That's... Oh, Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of really good things about that game lately. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to have no AI. Now I just need to find a portrait that suits him. I think that was the one I chose last time. Let's see if they, or if they've updated these at all. Oh, no, that was the one I chose. Okay. Sir Goofball is ready. Lady Dingy, she needs a little bit of work. Okay, so this, this AI thing, this was not present originally, but what it allows you to do is set your companion's or I guess your characters, to have, to make their own choices rather than you having to pick for them. And there, there are all kinds of things you can go with here. And um, reading online you can get a better sense of what kind of choices they'll make. I believe there's even a guide to exactly what choices each personality will make, but we're just gonna... we'll give her free spirit. Uh, take her clothes off too, but that's not necessary. I mean, it was only fair. We had the other guy as tidy whities for quite a while. Um, P.O.E. Isn't that also... What's that one Diablo clone? I can't remember. Uh, let's see here. Okay, customize the build. So weapons. Single-handed, yes. Defense, armor specialist, bodybuilding, yes, shield specialist, yes, 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 this is all good. Man at arms, that's also very good. And nothing in the personality, craftsmanship, or nasty deeds. Path of Exile, that was it. Thank you, Enoreg. Which is a game I enjoyed for quite a while, but then... So it, it takes a lot from Diablo 2, but um, I think it takes a little too much. Because, like, Diablo 2 is a much beloved game, but you gotta admit, it had a lot of really shitty design choices. And to just kind of copy those whole hog and, um... I mean, if that's what people want, great. But it's just not what I was looking for. I don't think the awful lag will ever be fixed. I believe they even... Uh, the creators made a statement that it's because of the... Uh... How would I describe this? It's... Basically, how the gameplay is set up, that lag is kind of inevitable, especially with the huge player base. Uh, let's see here. Battering Ram. Yes, this is a good one. Power Stance is a good one. Oh yeah, this is kind of based off D&D, by the way, if you didn't know. It is. Dexterity. What does this do? Dexterity-based weapons. Um, that's not what we're going to be using on this character. Constitution, Speed, Perception. I think I'm going to take one out of Perception... Uh, we're gonna give her one more constitution. Dust Devil. I'm just gonna take a look here and see what other skills there are. Crushing Fist. 
That's a nice one to have. Cure Wounds is intensely helpful to the point where I might actually... Yeah. Because we're... There's a healer character you can get in your party fairly early on, but... Um... I'd rather just have that to start with, and then we don't have to worry about it so much. And, okay, let's look at talents here. My precious, 50% chance of not losing durability. I don't think I'm willing to drop a talent point for that. Attacks of Opportunity, very nice, very good to have. Bully, boost non-magical attacks against opponents that are slowed, crippled, or knocked down by 50%. That's pretty nice. Courageous grants you immunity of fear, but you can no longer flee from combat. Not willing to go with that yet. Uh, let's see. Light Stepper. Lone Wolf. No. Unresurrected. No. Increases the amount of weight you can carry. That's pretty nice. Politician. Not so much. Thick skin. Five extra base armor. Plus man-at-arms times two. So that would give me five plus two right now. I think we're going to go with Thick Skin. This is going to be a very defensive character. Yeah, the shoes are a little... what? What even? Okay, we'll give her back her clothes, and... I may have a blade or two that could use a honing. Look out! I see a trap nearby. There must be a way to spring this trap safe. Ah, a forge. What can we'll just we cook go with up warrior today? voice, whatever. I know, those heels are just wacky. Let's see what kind of heads there are. Can we zoom in? Nope. Uh, da -da -da -da. Kind of like the circlet. It's always a classy look. There's also war paint, which is pretty sweet. Mascara, kabuki... Uh, I'm kind of liking, kind of liking this. Also, like, this hair, look at the fucking crazy-ass curls on this hair. It's almost like, it almost looks Tim Burton-esque, I think. Or maybe that's just the way it's rendered, but, yeah. Always make biscuits. Let's see what other... Maybe we'll give her more practical hairstyle for a, uh, a warrior. Oh, no, that looks really cool. We're going with that. Wow. I didn't know there were that many crazy hair colors. Okay, I really like this look. I think we're going to go with it. We'll just stick with the default underwear. Have your clothes back. Um, Alright, now I just need to change the portrait. It's actually really important that you give your character an appropriate portrait or you will get confused. Also, some of these portraits are just... I don't even... I don't even know. What's one that kind of fits? I mean, that's... That might be about as close as we can get. I know that was this one. Yeah, that'll, ha that'll have to do. Okay, character creation. Accept. Yes. Sir Goofball and Lady Dingy, go forth and adventure. In the days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalon cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow. So if any of you have read the Wheel of Time series, this may be familiar to you. 
just the general setup here. Rise and shine, Master Sorsonten. The cam wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you go in there, Master Sorsonten. City's full of undead, hungry and out for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sysil. Nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sysil. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off on the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If we're to get justice for the Counselor, you'll have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, Source Hunters. I'm so glad somebody mentioned Kingdom of Loathing. I used to love my Pastamancer on that game. Uh, I also don't remember this intro. Maybe it's new, maybe I just forgot or skipped it accidentally back in the day. Hello, Daedalus. I hope you are ready for some original sin. I, I think cooking is actually a thing in this game, too, by the way, so your puns would not be out of place, Wraith Lord. Hey, welcome to Originally originally Divine Sins. Okay, so we can click to explore, that's nice. Uh, the party system in this game is pretty cool. What you can do is actually unlink your party members, so, uh, you know, one can go off on their own, do their own thing, the other can go the other way, and kind of just... You can uh, explore more efficiently like this, or you can also have one character who goes into combat and the other one who stays out. Uh, there's actually a lot of possibilities for what you can do with the system. There's also... you can change your formation. I'm actually going to do that right now, and set it up so that... Well, what I, what I could just do instead is set it up like this, so, no, select this character, and then she takes the lead and he kind of hangs back. And, oh yes, it is alt, okay. Broad skull, do I even want that? Uh, yeah, let's take it, it's ingredient. Press I to access my inventory. Oh, and there's, um, I like that there's containers, so you can contain stuff within your containers and keep your inventory organized. And actually finding a second container, look, we, I don't know why, but we start with underwears. It's pretty funny. Let's put those on. Sir Goofball does not start with underwears. Fun with fluids. That sounds great. Let's take it. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna get totally crazy with my inventory management here. I hope you don't mind. I should set up my hotbars, actually. Resurrect scroll. Yeah, you go over on that edge. We're not gonna use Staff of Magus. Magus? Okay, power stance. Oh, no. No need to heal just yet. Power stance, battering ram, good, good. Buffs go over that way. Summon undead warrior scroll. I mean, that'll be useful. Staff, flare, spider. 
Sorry, just a moment. My mom wanted me to cook hamburgers, but I'm like, I'm streaming, I can't. She's like, okay, I'll cook you a hamburger. Okay, so Sir Goofball's gonna read this. Fun with fluids. Something is an intimidating plant. It was, after all, named after one of Rivalon's fiercest heroes. You can imagine what effect such a plant might have mixed into a potion. Woe betide he who faces a foe who hath quaffed a file of farhangite. Farhangite. I don't know. But yeah, books. And fun with fluids, like, that's not... <laughs> that's not, um... Suggestive in the slightest, I don't think. Shells, um, uh, not worth picking if up. If I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. Right you are, Sir Goofball. So happy I named my characters this. <laughs> it's great. Ah, okay. Is rain scroll. Corpse? What's it doing here alone? You can take what? that rain scroll. Did you expect it to have an entourage? Well, when you find one corpse, there's usually multiple. Read about Source Hunter's history, but we're not going to do that right now. What's on this corpse? Shell only run, yeah. Um, okay. What does the Traveler's Journal have to say to us? Rejoice, for the statues have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly. So before I soar through the sky like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs down at the beach. This should be a small feat for the man that can fly. This experiment is successful. The sun shall be my next target. Okay, and here's an introduction to the social interaction aspect of this game. We can talk to each other. Hey, buddy. This is cooperative dialogue. It allows you to roleplay discussion between two main characters. <laughs> so Sir Goofball is like... Wait, why am I controlling... I shouldn't... Should I not be... I... Oh, I'm confused now. Because I gave her a personality, but now I'm making... Yeah, pure madness. How could you be so utterly naive? Now, I thought I gave her a personality. I should not be answering for her. Oh well. <clears throat> sure, um, Sir Goofball will... Because <laughs> he's a goofball! He'll say that, you know, it could have worked. Okay. And yeah, uh, your choices in dialogue will give you different... I don't know. They're not... They're not in... They are kind of stat boosts. I guess, what do they call them? Traits. Yeah, you get different traits. So, uh, Pragmatic increases crafting by one, and Romantic increases Lucky Charm by one. Lucky Charm, I believe, has to do with finding special or extra items in loot containers. So, like, you can, you can totally... Uh, how do I take all? There we go. You can totally min-max your characters with dialogue and... Uh, you know, give them really good traits for exactly what you want them for, but I'm just gonna kind of... whatever. I'm just gonna whatever it. Okay, yeah, so... whatever, I'll just... I'll just control the witch. And we'll switch up our formation to accommodate. Because, yeah, personalities. I don't want to override her personality. That seems kind of weird. Hey, Marina. Twitch is a bitch. Oh yeah, I was talking about Twitch earlier, in that apparently on March 3rd there was unauthorized access. We're in a fight now. Is upon them, source hunters. Secure the stone. I'll deal with Why are you all the way back there? Goddess be with you, master. So these guys get a special turn because they're tutorial dudes. So we can't actually kill them just Rise. yet. Arise. Arise. Drawn forth from blood, I bid you aid me. Uh, 
Now it's fighting time. Okay, combat is turn-based. Uses action points to do whatever you do. Okay. Um, can control hover to learn more. We don't know anything about these guys because we have not engaged them in combat yet. Let's see. Okay, let's see. So these are my action points, the little orbs. And by leaving some action points at the end of your turn, you can actually start the next turn with more than you start combat with. So I suggest doing that when you can. First thing I'm going to do is just summon my spider buddy. Spider friends are the best friends. And then... Um, do I end my turn? Do I just switch characters? I guess I've got to end my turn. Okay, two action points preserved. There we go. And Spider, you're just going to go ahead and fight, fight, fight. Can't fight anymore. Now... If I battering ram that one, I can hit all three. Hammer time! That'll be good. Don't get killed too much in there. Uh, what's my staff? 6 to 10 earth damage. Or... Uh, that's 6 action points, 4 action points. Yeah. It's fine. So this combat is definitely going in our favor. Because we just fucking killed everything. Perfect. Their There's... leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? Well, I'm sure we can get inside. My spider's gonna hang around for a little bit and then die. That's what minions do. No. So this plate armor is way better than my source hunter armor. Like just right off the bat here. Oh, I can't wear it yet. It requires strength 8. Just have to hold on to it a little longer. Uh, I believe there's something we can do out here before we head into the dungeon. Aw, bye bye, spider buddy. Access the optional tutorial area by going in the dungeon behind you. Yes, it is optional, by the way, which is really nice. We want to go over here. Meet ourselves a friend. Yeah, the voices are really silly. Here are shells lament. Yield me unto the water. Woe is me. Dry air my sorry love. Oh, mighty ocean. How I pine for thee. What a whiny clam. Okay, yeah, you're gonna just keep talking. I wanna check what my quick save button is. Is there a quick save button? There's gotta be, because there's quick saves. Oh, there we go. F5. Boop! Saving. Okay, now we can talk to Mr. Clam Man. Look, look, a wanderer comes my way, walking the sands upon which this poor shell must suffer. Who are you, Sir Shell? I'm Sir Goofball. Call me Ishma Shell, son of the sea, an outcast upon these wretched shores. An exiled shell, doomed to live under a canopy of arid sky, not his native tender water. It seems strange that you can talk. Of course I can talk. Don't be silly. There's more tongue in me than heart. Indeed, the surprise should be mine, for I still remember the days when your kind swung from branches and plucked the vermin out of their neighbor's fur. <laughs> Shove that clam into your fucking pockets. I mean, we could, but... Okay, you say that you are doomed... Yes, his fate is a cruel one. How many snot noses have held me up to their dirty little ears only to claim they can hear the ocean? Uh, okay. So it's the sea's embrace you long for. Yes, yes, I, king of pearls, ache to respose anew on his coral throne. Hurl me towards the water, swing me as far as your arms strength gives lease, and treasure long sunk I will grant thee. You don't seem to remember the past very fondly. 
Time is an indulgent mistress to one who spends happy hours as she passes, but when your existence is one of misery, she becomes a lethargic harpy. I always remember ancient times, for I have lain here since antiquity, when the ruins around us were palaces and the sun bleached... And the sun bleached dead merry children? What? Okay. Uh, I should decide what to do with you, yes. What do you say, kind knight? Will you return the king of pearls to the sea so he may yield you long-lost treasure? <laughs> yeah, let's throw him into the sea. Agreed. Lady Dingy, who has Sir Goofball's portrait, agrees. Yay! The sea. We both gain altruistic plus one. The sea. I have returned. Where every wave feels like a mermaid's kiss. May the bounty of the deep be yours, along with my eternal gratitude. Ooh. Left ear, right ear. And then he spits up a chest for us. That's nice. Um, yeah, we'll take all that. Do you have an amulet? No, you're going to wear this one now. Even though it has no stat boosts, just because I like to fill up inventory slots. Bye-bye, <clears throat> Ishmachel. It's a pretty good name for a clam. Okay, so we are going to do the tutorial dungeon. It's nice to get the little things in there and... It has been a while since I've played this game, so I would like a reminder on how various things work. So I don't end up, you know, just flailing blindly against stuff. I can flail uh, sightedly against stuff. He does sound like a Spongebob character. Alright. Chocolate! This seems to be broken. Everything seems to be broken. These bones are broken, we can take them anyway. Ingredient or food? I don't know, but I'm gonna put it in my pocket. More bone piles. Nothing in there. So this is another game, uh, kind of like Skyrim, where you can satisfy your kleptomaniac urges by opening everything and stealing everything you can possibly find. Like tomatoes. You can also turn candles on and off. Level 20 candles. Guess I just got a lighter in my pocket. Uh, oh, we can break it open. I think that's a job for Lady Dingy. Uh, you're like a gorilla in a porcelain store. Poison arrow. That's nice. Oh, we don't have a character who's going to be using ranged attacks. At least not bows. Hmm. Oh well, maybe we can get one later. So, like, I think all these crates are empty. Oh no, there's gold! And you can have multiple containers open like that, which is pretty cool. Also, you can, uh, just rearrange crates and barrels like it weren't no thing. I don't think you even use your strength for that, I think it's some kind of telepathy pretty cool. Cheese, please. Uh, he who smelt it, yes. Send that to Lady Dingy, because she's going to be our crafty pants. And then we'll just, uh, whoa, calm down there. Come on, Sir Goofball, you can do it. Throw the crate into the crate. Maybe, maybe Lady Dingy will have better luck. No, it's too high. Anyway, enough of that. Wait, can I? Oh yeah, F1, F2. Good, that's how I select characters. Careful. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. Yeah, so... Mines, traps, they exist. Thankfully, uh, your AI partners will... 99% of the time be able to avoid such things. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, just heal yourself. Good stuff. Good stuff. The only thing we lost there was a cooldown. But yeah, um, like, the character you're controlling, you will have to navigate around traps pretty carefully, but the AI will find their own path, unless it's completely blocked. 
in which case you should be uh, working out a solution to that.